Sonic the Hedgehog games are among the most modified in which the creators customize by making improvements to the gameplay, creating new levels, adding new mechanics, new characters, and new soundtracks to bring something not seen in the official games. There is even a hacking contest held annually where they compete for their entry and whichever wins under specific categories and overall, as evaluated by the judges and the community, attracts new players into playing those hacks. There are so many ROM hacks to play, but these are by far the games that stood out to me the most. So let's take a look at my picks for my top 10 Sonic the Hedgehog ROM hacks. Number 10, Sonic 2 Advanced Edit. It was made by Rikachu. It consists of seven new levels, brand new boss battles, and includes four playable characters such as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. It's almost hard to believe that Sonic 2 is its original game due to most of the character sprites coming from Sonic 3 and is complete with their skill sets. I love the originality of all the levels and the new gimmicks are a great addition. It also has a feature to reset a level back from the start or from the last checkpoint. Number 9. Sonic Scorched Quest It was made by Team Painto. The story is about Eggman's discovery of the Flame Emeralds from an alternate dimension, which are seven powerful stones that can control all types of fire, so he builds a machine that can open him a portal to obtain them. Sonic then arrives to the South Island only to find out his animal friends are panicking, so he decides to check what's going on. There are six levels to play, with each consisting of four acts except Flame Yard, Firelight, and Molten Brain, including a boss battle with Eggman. The game plays exactly like Sonic 1, but with new level layouts, includes special stages from its 8-bit counterpart, and original boss battles making for an exhilarating experience. Number 8. Sonic 2 Recreation It was made by Red Hot Sonic. It starts off in the portal zone containing four different zones to play, which bear similarities to Sonic Advance 3. There are four characters to play, including Red Hot Sonic himself, which is a nice touch. The levels are fun to play through, the soundtrack is great, but I wish there was a part 2 though. It's a shame Red Hot Sonic won't continue working on it. But still, he's one of my favorite YouTubers and I'll provide the link to his channel so make sure to check it out and subscribe. Number 7. Sonic 2 Retro Remix It was made by Thorn and DNX Delta. What you need to do here is to enter the giant rings to play the levels and accomplish certain goals to collect a number of Chaos Emeralds necessary to move forward in the game, which reminds me of Super Mario 64 due to the similar mission system. The game is more fast-paced and due to Sonic's abilities such as homing attack, mid-air curl, wall kick, jump dash, and mid-air boost, add further to the fun factor of the game. Tails and Knuckles are also playable as you progress, and the feature of exiting a level is a nice addition. Number 6. Metal Sonic Rebooted 
it was made by the Lone Devil. The story is about Metal Sonic who wants to prove his usefulness to Dr. Robotnik who has built a huge army of badniks by searching for Chaos Emeralds before them. Metal Sonic is given new abilities such as Overdrive Attack, Fast Fall, and Vertical Aerial Dash just to mention a few. You can also recruit Bomb as a temporary sidekick who mirrors your movements in special stages and explodes rings when it takes damage. It is also notable for maintaining the number of rings over each act or checkpoint and for losing only 50 rings when you get hit, which makes the gameplay slightly easier. Oh, and I should mention that Metal Sonic can't drown. Number 5. Metal Sonic Hyperdrive Before Metal Sonic rebooted, comes this hack also made by the Lone Devil. So Tails managed to escape from capture and sneak into Robotnik's lab to grab spare parts of some of his robots to create Metal Sonic to take down the evil doctor. It has similarities to Sonic CD in terms of visuals and gameplay, which is awesome. And the fact that you can also get to play as Kirby, Sonic, Somari, and the Lone Devil himself makes the game worth replaying. For more challenge, you can select the Master Quest mode, level up the difficulty, and choose the Survival mode at the Extras menu. Number 4. Sonic Classic Heroes it was made by Flamewing and Colin C10 and is a combination of the respective hacks Sonic 2 Heroes and Sonic 1 and 2 merging levels from both games into one as a result. It features Team Sonic and Team Chaotix with each of their own distinct abilities that can add some variety to the gameplay as you get to control each member. It also features a save system similar to Sonic 3 allowing for manageability and is the longest game on this list. I wish they also got Team Dark and Team Rose though, but still, this is one hack you must try. Number 3 Sonic Mega Mix. It is a work in progress modification of Sonic 1 made by Team Mega Mix with some of the members who would later work on Sonic Mania. Eggman returns to South Island to collect all the Chaos Emeralds and conquer the world, so it's up to Sonic and his team of friends to stop him. You get to play five characters with their own specific abilities which make up for solid gameplay. Sonic can do a light dash, Mighty can swap shields, Shadow can double jump, Tails can fly, and Knuckles can glide to reach higher areas. The levels look great as well as the soundtrack even if it was borrowed from other games and Michael Jackson songs. I would have loved to see a definitive version of the game, but what we have now is pretty awesome. Number 2. Sonic 2 Anniversary Edition It was made by Sophie Dude and is basically a better version of an already great game with tons of gameplay fixes and graphical improvements. Among the changes are Tails' ability to fly and swim, later acts having alternate color palettes, remixing of soundtracks, addition of new areas for Tails and Knuckles to explore, and it even includes the optional Hidden Palace Zone similar to Christian Whitehead Remaster minus the gimmicks and boss. 
it really does feel like a game worth celebrating nearly 30 years after the game's original release. Number 1. Sonic 3 Complete Just like Sonic 2 Anniversary Edition, this is also a better version than the official games. I think the creators really outdid themselves with this one. It improves nearly every aspect, merging 3 games into one full package. There are plenty of gameplay and music options to choose you can select which game to load on startup, and it even comes with custom patches and options allowing players to choose their playstyle. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is already my all-time favorite Sonic game, and this hack made me love the game even more, so credits to all who worked on this. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, stay safe always, and I will see you guys in my next video. Lucas out.